this particular tournament in itself certainly do have a long way to go. I look forward to maybe in the future it getting much better as well because uh, we have some great players from around the world here and I think this is a start and it can only get better. So Viv, uh, how have you enjoyed your experience coaching at the NSL's first national tournament? Oh, it's been, we're having a great time so far. I honestly believe that uh, this particular tournament in itself certainly do have a long way to go. The whole initial product in itself, I certainly endorsed and I look forward to maybe in the future it getting much better as well because uh, we have some great players from around the world here and I think this is a start and it can only get better. Now you've seen cricket evolve through many eras. Has the mentality of players shifted with the rise of shorter formats like T20 and now this 60 strikes, T10 kind of equivalent? I think it's uh, quite enjoyable for the guys. You know, it, uh, we had the T20 format, um, now we have the, the 60 strikes. I think it's a very impressive format and with the players, you know, who would have assembled here, that is testament to the fact that uh, it is a great tournament. Yeah. In your illustrious career as one of the greatest batsmen of all time, you were known for your fearless approach. How do you think that mindset fits in with the modern game, especially in this kind of fast pace? environment oh these guys today uh, they're, they're the fast food of the game in itself you know and maybe uh, as an old time and one who would have played um, yesterday or years went by I've been impressed and I'm proud to say that I would have played this game with what I see in the modern day player wonderful now you were a master of reading bowlers in in the longer format how here batsmen have less time to settle so how crucial is it to adapt quickly to the bowler well one can remember that uh, the style that you see today I, I think is uh, pretty much similar in the past and uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with what I see today you know the guys are, are thinking on their feet and the bats are so much better also today so with the bats the way they are players themselves with the skills that they bring it's just a marvelous thing to, to, to watch. Cricket is now more a, a global game than ever before what role do you think national leagues like the NCL play in shaping the future of cricket? Well uh, as you know there's a, a whole lot of folks you know who would have um, left their countries where cricket would have been played and to have them here in uh, foreign country they're still very much in touch with what went on back home and to, to to see cricket here in this part of the world which is renowned for its baseball American football and all the various stuff at the NBA it is just marvelous I guess for the cricketing fans who live in this part of the world I hope they can get some excitement is there any American sport that you like that you enjoy that you really I love to? all American sports I'm a sports fanatic <laughs> and um, I just appreciate seeing guys you know who would have done their bits in terms of sports and making me as a watcher myself highly impressed final question looking back at your long illustrious career is there a highlight a, a game or a series or a match that that stands out that makes you think fondly of, of your you know whatever you have achieved well i, I would say i'm playing in front of uh, your home crowd in antigua uh, we have a population of only a hundred thousand or more and um, to accomplish things in front of that crowd, a crowd which appreciate you seeing you do well, it's always best when you can make your home fans feel at home. Wonderful. Thank you so Thanks. much.